Hello! Today's lesson will be on projectiles. A projectile is an object, such as this Aflac duck, that passes through two different dimensions without experiencing any air resistance. When solving a projectile problem, there are two types of motion to focus on, horizontal and vertical. It helps to organize your information into a chart like this. Here's Alexa Elliott performing a dive roll, an example of a projectile. To begin, create the chart which was shown earlier. It should divide into two sides, horizontal and vertical motion. On the vertical side, a minimum of three variables are needed to solve the equation. In this instance, Alexa begins and lands on the same level, so her delta y will equal zero. As Alexa is on Earth, her acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. To find her time, we have counted the number of frames the jump occurred in and the frame rate of the camera the video is filmed on. This information is then plugged into the equation t equals number of frames over frame rate. Vertical motion and horizontal motion are independent of each other and require different types of equations. Vertical motion requires constant acceleration equations and horizontal motion requires the constant speed equation. So these variables which we just found are substituted into one of the three constant acceleration motion equations since we're solving for vertical motion. Here, we are solving to find velocity initial. Once this is done, take the velocity initial and substitute it into another constant acceleration motion equation to solve for the remaining variable, which in this case is the velocity final. The velocity final will be negative due to the downward motion when Alexa finishes her dive roll. Now that all of the vertical motion variables have been found, we are able to solve the horizontal motion side of the chart. The delta x, or displacement, has already been measured, so you simply take the time you found on the vertical motion side of the chart and fill it in on the horizontal motion side, as the dive roll will occur in the same amount of time no matter what type of motion we focus on. So substitute delta x and t into the one and only constant speed equation, v equals delta x over t. Now that ch the chart is completed, find the angle which lets us kick off the ground. Do this by setting up a right triangle like this, putting the vertical velocity on the vertical part of the triangle, and the horizontal vo uh, velocity on the horizontal part of the triangle. Then solve for the unknown angle using a tangent equation. Since the sides of opposite and adjacent to the angle are known. Finally, to find the true velocity of Alexa's dive roll, use Pythagorean's theorem to solve for the hypotenuse of the triangle you've drawn. This will be your true velocity. And that is how you successfully solve a projectile problem.